Welcome to this video, we will explore an anomaly detection module to protect the healthcare sector from cyber threats. The first use case of this module is PAGMI, the University General Hospital of Heraklion. PAGMI is the largest hospital facility in Crete and one of the largest public hospitals in the country. It provides secondary and tertiary health care in the prefecture of Heraklion. PAGMI will be involved mainly in the anomaly detection module by providing unlabeled logs captured from its monitoring systems. The dataset comprises approximately 2 million records with various features related to hospital activities. Hospital, location of the action. Role, responsible individual for the action. Action, specific task or activity. VPN, indicates VPN usage. Department, roles division. Date time, when the action was carried out. The main objective of the PAGMI use case is to capture anomalies of these two types. 1. Role-based action, when a person in a role performs actions not typically associated with that role. For instance, a nurse undertaking tasks usually reserved for doctors. 2. Predefined shifts, an action performed outside of the regular working hours. If a physiotherapist tried to do an action in the middle of the night. As the PAGMI use case deals with data with no specific labels, employing unsupervised learning techniques is essential for anomaly detection. The utilization of a voting system becomes pivotal in this context. Each selected algorithm in our ensemble may excel at detecting certain types of anomalies while having limitations in others. By combining the results of multiple algorithms, we leverage their unique strengths and mitigate weaknesses. To ensure a fair comparison and meaningful aggregation of results, we normalize the anomaly decision scores generated by these diverse algorithms. Regarding the algorithms used in the PAGMI use case, K nearest neighbors classifies a data point by finding the K nearest neighbors to the point in the feature space and determining the majority class among those neighbors. It is commonly used for classification problems and works well for large datasets with many features. Local outlier factor detects data outliers by assessing each data point's local density, flagging points with low local density as outliers. Principal component analysis reduces data complexity by projecting it onto a lower dimensional space while preserving most information. Ideal for dimensionality reduction and noise removal. Histogram-based outlier score computes outlier scores for data points based on feature value distributions. Effective for datasets with continuous variables and high-dimensional feature spaces. Cluster-based outlier probability density identifies outliers by clustering data and calculating outlier scores based on assigned cluster probabilities. Single-class unsupervised outlier detection detects data outliers by measuring similarity scores between each data point and all others in the dataset, flagging those with low similarity scores. The complete lifecycle of PAGMI started with obtaining archived data shared around 2 million records and then pre-processing the data to make it clean and intact. The values from role and action had to be pre-processed and transferred to integer values without any logic because they were encoded as strings. During the training phase, the date-time column was divided into three shifts to cover 24 hours in the hospital. After that, all six algorithms were fed with all the unlabeled data given. After training, decision scores for each algorithm were computed to determine the probability of an entry point being an anomaly. A voting system was then employed, incrementing a counter for each entry point if its normalized decision score met or exceeded a predefined threshold. The first scenario of detecting anomalies was from the archived data shared from the PAGMI side. We found many anomalies, but the most relevant anomalies are four. 1. A nurse updating department data with VPN, the main explanation is that this action was done 471 times without VPN. 
The second one is a doctor deleting an entry with VPN, the reason behind this action is being captured at a late time interval. Also, a doctor updating a nurse's record is an anomaly because this action was done by the nurse's role as a majority. The last anomaly was justified as the hospital for this action was unknown. Moving to the real-time scenario, the current implementation was extended to accept a REST API integration to seamlessly get the data stream to the trained model and predict whether the record is an anomaly. Then the output will be formed in a JSON request to be bulk ingestion to the Elasticsearch platform into the dedicated index name. Finally, the tangible result will be illustrated in AIR's first layer GUI to the AIR users to ease their check. AIR's first layer GUI, the dashboard provides clear visualizations and tangible representations of the detected anomalies and threats to help hospitals slash departments make informed decisions. In the real-time demonstration, the AIR's first layer GUI offers users valuable department-specific insights generated by the AIR agent. These insights include outcomes from various modules such as the exploit tester, cryptographic checker, vulnerability assessment, and network module. The event analysis screen seamlessly integrates and presents the results from the anomaly detection component, enabling authorized users to explore the outputs of both the ML anomaly detection module and the security information and event management CM, tool for all monitored devices within the selected department. To access the event analysis, users can simply navigate to the corresponding section at the top of the page. Here, they have the flexibility to apply filters as needed, including options for device events, machine learning events, and the desired time interval. Within this section, a dedicated area provides clear and detailed information for each record. The machine learning component generates entries with comprehensive details such as the type of action, the role associated, and the presence of an anomaly flag. Towards the bottom of the page, a chronological sequence of records is displayed, distinguished by two distinct colors. Entries marked in red indicate potentially suspicious activity reported by the anomaly module, while those in blue represent routine records from Pagni Hospital. Thank you for watching this video and learning about the anomaly detection module. For more info, please visit AIR's social media channels.